I'm thinking about, I'm gonna be honest, I'm thinking about doing a boxing match. I kind of want to. <clears throat> but if I do it, we're doing it all natty. And I don't, I wonder if somebody would not train me if I said that, <laughs> I'm not sure. But I also really want to hit my lifts. And I feel like if I do a boxing thing, I feel like I, if I do boxing, I feel like I literally want to just do like nine months of cardio. And if I do, because I feel like every time I watch people box in amateur leagues, they just get tired in like one minute. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that guy that's hugging a minute in. Aren't you worried about brain damage from boxing? Boxing like, like one or two celeb matches? Who would you box? I can't announce it right now. There's like an offer on the table. I just have to think of, I really want to hit my weightlifting goals like in the next few months though, because I'm on like a good track right now. Like I'm at all my old max lifts, but I feel like, um, like I feel really strong. Like I don't feel like tired or beat up or anything. <clears throat> um, but if I do boxing, my all my training has to change like dramatically, obviously. If this guy builds fucking lurkers. How tall am I? I'm 5'8", so I'd need somebody around my height too. You end up with a clip if you're getting knocked out, you'd never live it down. Yeah, but I mean like that's part of the, that's part of like anything in life, right? You can't, you have to risk failure for like great success, right? But I also, I don't know like how realistic it is for me to get knocked out also in like my weight class, right? Like if I did boxing, I hope I would cut 15 pounds at my height. Um, so like, like, would, I don't think I'd be featherweight division, right? I have no idea what the weights are. But like, are five eight people like knocking each other out that much? Is that like in in amateur boxing? Some idiot in chat is already like, oh, actually, in MMA that happens all the time. But I mean, like in amateur boxing, are like five eight dudes like actually like dropping each other? I'm not saying it's impossible, but here's the finishing rates by division in boxing. Keep in mind that a three or four runner of boxing is way less like an end and a finish, but also you and your opponent will suck. So one of you might have a huge adrenaline dump and gas out quickly. Oh, I mean, it's about amateur. I don't know how any of this applies to amateur boxing, so. But I really do think, I think I would do like heavy, intensive, extreme cardio because I feel like, I'm trying to think of all the amateur boxing I've seen, I feel like people are gassed literally round one. Like unironically, like after round one, people are like tired and done. And I, that would suck. I wouldn't want that to happen. I don't know if people just strength train more or if people don't train at all for their celeb boxing things and they just like meme it up or what, but you know. People are guessed because cardio and boxing cardio are so different. Are they really? I'm pretty sure. I imagine it's like cardio and like high rep like training. Like you probably just do like a lot of actual like punching and shit, right? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of carryover from all cardio. Like if you squat and deadlift big weight, your cardio will get better. I actually know this because I am. Um, because I was just, I had to run up so many goddamn fucking stairs when I was in LA because of where the of where I was at, the person has a lot of stairs. It's like a hundred stairs because it's in like hills. And I was like, kill me. I'm going to want to kill myself going up this sh And I was able to run up and down them like really easily. But I think it's just because I've got cardio that carries over from the weightlifting shit now. But I think you'll notice that too because if you, if you start like squatting or deadlifting and you have no cardio at all, like you'll have to wait between sets because of, you're out of breath, literally. It's not even because your legs are tired, you're just <gasps> like out of breath. So I'm pretty sure like all of it carries over at least a little bit, right? Like if you can jump rope or like sprint for like, you know, five minutes, I imagine it probably helps you with boxing quite a bit, right? People probably really just underestimate how much cardio boxing takes. Yeah, that's probably true too. Well, because you see people in movies and superheroes and shit fight for like, you know, like five minute fights of fists and shit. And in real life, like throwing hands for probably like 20 seconds is gonna have you exhausted for like most people. It's the getting hit part that exhausts you faster. That's where you're gonna be like, Muhammad Ali, never get hit. That's gonna be my ring name, by the way. I'm gonna convert right before the fight, guys. Did you watch Creed 3? No. Do you have any athletic background besides cross country? Footwork might be really important. Oh, I have the footwork down, easy. I always used to pretend I was a DBZ fighter, so <laughs> that's probably gonna be the easiest part.